Hey guys, thanks for joining us for an exciting unboxing and uh, playthrough video. <laughs> One of my favorite amp companies, Rev, sent me an amp and Carrie and I got together and designed this online with their uh, their software on their it website. It was so much fun. It Seriously, was. Seriously, <laughs> going back and forth. We made some crazy concepts. We, we did. We made some super cool concepts. And we picked some stuff that we were like, I yeah. can't believe this actually looks good but it does like it worked it was kind of uh unconventional choices that yeah. we made but i feel like some of our standard to i tend to like dark and scary look like, like yeah. black and silver yeah. and and jared wants to go like bright and like purples and blues orange <laughs> and boy we did not go with what our standard any of is. those things yeah. well i like the dark spooky stuff too yeah. but I don't know, for some reason, uh, I, I, we, we just went through every option and we, we actually started making some really weird choices and we were like, you know what? Why not? Why does, why does this work? Yeah. And, but it does. And so, when are you ever going to be able to find something yeah. like this? It's so unique. Yeah, it's very unique. So anyways, enough blabbering. Um, so I have been waiting a while for this, so I, I want to see how this like turned out, you know, in real life. And... Uh, this, I'm really looking forward to this. <laughs> Been waiting a while for this. So, let me, so I'm gonna do an unboxing and then with Carrie here and then after that in the video, I'll do a playthrough. And I'll be doing the playthrough tomorrow, but <laughs> in this video, it'll be the same day. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, the Rev Petal. So this is the control pedal. You know, we'll go over that later. <laughs> this, <laughs> I use MIDI, so I mean, it's a great pedal, it's awesome, but I use MIDI, so um, I will be hooking this up to my MIDI stuff. So. I know how I can help. Let's pull this bad boy out. Here we go. Okay, you can grab the box. You know, they pack these really well. Let me make sure I got the right part facing forward. Oh, I can't tell still because there's a there's a <laughs> bag over it. But their packing is awesome. Yeah, they do a great job. And wow. here's the book. So you get the official certificate with, uh, you know, some cool stuff on there. Good information. There's that. <laughs> Oh, it's got another bag on yeah. top. Yeah. Here. Ooh, it's the, oh, case or cover. Let me make sure I got the right part facing. Yeah. No. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is the back. Ooh, there Ooh, we go. Nice. Let's take a look at this. Dude, I love, I love the Tolex. Oh, uh, look at that. Yeah, so I went with the bronze, uh, what copper. is it called? Co or copper, yeah. Western copper. Western copper, and then the pewter trout. Yeah. Um, like Tolex. Blackish this, gray. That is badass looking Tolex, man. I it looks better it. than it does on their website. Yeah. It looks it better than the picture. It on the website. This looks badass. It Look at that. It kind of looked like a tweed on yeah. the website. But yeah, it's better in real life. Yeah. Oh, my God. And Derek uh, told me that that's his favorite, and I, I understand why. Yeah. Wow, look at that. So what are the specs on it? What do you uh, got? This is a 50 watt, and it has the two notes tech built in, just like the uh, Mark III does. Oh, nice. Now, here's the thing, too. On this, this isn't just the 50 watt version of the Mark III with three channels, uh -huh. okay? This actually, they revoiced it. Okay. So the voicing is different. It's more raw and it's actually more aggressive than the uh, Mark III. So you're III. definitely going to do a shootout. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll definitely be doing a shootout. Um, I like aggressive amps. Like this one's amazing. It's just thick and heavy and amazing sounding, but it's got that nice little polish on the top yeah. end where this is a little more raw and aggressive, nice. which I, uh, now I got the best of both worlds. Yeah. You know, so, so when you're doing a playthrough later, you're going to have to get some like close-up shots of it oh, so yeah. they can appreciate how real yeah. how pretty it is. This thing looks absolutely yeah. beautiful. It kind of reminded me of a gladiator. I felt yeah. like this was like a gladiator shield and yeah. 
kind of badass I remember like that. that. Yeah, this is freaking awesome looking, though. <laughs> we made some good choices. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, I, not our standard thing, but nope. I really love how it turned out. Same here. I don't think it could have turned out any better, and it's going to look great on the shelves. And that was the thing, too. I just didn't want to have another black, black amp, amp, you yeah. know? I wanted to have something that would stand out, and this definitely does in all the right ways. Dude, dude this Tolex is amazing. It's really cool, though. Even if you want to just have some fun, go to their website yeah. and design your... You can have zebra stripes. Yeah. You can have leopard print. Yep. You can have it orange or green, whatever. Crazy have, color combinations. Yeah. yeah I think there's... they have the diamond. Didn't they have the diamond cut? Uh, like they... the stuff you find in a that metal... What is that stuff called? Isn't it called that? Oh, you mean, uh, what is that called? Uh, carbon fiber? Yes. Yeah, yeah like carbon that. fiber. Yeah, they got that. Yeah. They got they got a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. You can design the craziest looking amp you want, and they'll freaking make it for you. So <laughs> they don't care. And it's fun. It's easy. It's fun. Yeah, I can't wait. For? I'm just looking inside here, you know. And then you got the new amp smell. <laughs> Gotta love that. I can't smell anything right now. Yeah, you got a little bit of a cold. <laughs> but anyways, here's the unboxing of this. So I want to thank Rev for mm -hmm. uh, sponsoring this video and sending this to me. You know, I'll tell you, I've been I've been doing YouTube for a while, and it's really nice when some of your favorite companies actually <laughs> reach out to you. Yeah and want to work with you and trust you. And that really means a lot when people that you look up to, like the guys at Rev, actually yeah. reach out to you and you're just like, wait a minute, you you want to work with me? You want to, oh, oh this is freaking badass. Like, this is really cool. So it's, it, it really is an honor when you truly do love a company and the things that they make uh, and they and they want to work with you yeah. because that, that speaks volumes. It really does. And I appreciate that very much. So they sent another box. So let's do a quick unboxing of that. What an exciting day. Now, I thought this was coming on Wednesday. And it's Monday. It's Monday, and I had a house wash today that I had to do. So right before I left, I got a notification from DHL. Watch your cutter there. Don't yeah, I know. Up here. Yeah, they had uh, the notification from DHL right before I left saying, they're, they're going to be here today between 1230 <laughs> and 2.30. I'm like, what and i'm like <laughs> i'm about to leave to go do a house and you have to normally sign for yeah, i had to sign for it so i put a giant you know Note thing on, on the door. door just leave it here i signed it and i'm you like know, this you is gonna happen right ah! <laughs> got a t-shirt What's it say? Rev amps oh i love Rev amps. That one. oh it's got that 60s look <laughs> yeah. yeah that's badass of course, I'm going to cut the sleeves off <laughs> because you can't hide the guns. You have to show them to everyone. All right. So can you get that other box out? So I think I know what these are. Oh, man. Look at the presentation here. Got the nice... I should have had both cameras hooked up with uh, close-ups, but oh, well. So we'll get, You'll get some close-ups yeah. to show just the... Yeah, I'll do that later. Oh, look at look at the pedals. Oh yeah, I love that. Dude, these pedals look amazing. So these are their new Rev pedals, and they actually revoiced these as well. So this is the red red one, and then that's probably the purple one. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, again. And I've heard nothing but good things about their pedals. I've never played one, so I'm really looking forward to trying these out because I heard they're awesome. And he, uh, Derek, uh, said that he, they revamped yeah. the circuit a little bit. Wow, look at that. Dude, I love the, the look. It's really classy and badass looking at the same time. I like the colors they chose, you know, and then the, uh, the textured kind of look here on the front. Is it leopard print or what is this? It's like a crackle almost. I don't know. Well, there's, I don't know. There's like, a, there is a pattern there. Oh, it's like paisley. Yeah. There's a black, gotcha. like a ghosted paisley. Yeah, that looks really cool, I though. I really like it, yeah. Yeah, so what I'm going to do with those, I think, is I'm going to hook it up to my Line 6 uh, HX effects. Yeah. Because you can put it in there and use an IR uh -huh. with it. And um, 
and then use the effects and all that with that. But that's basically a preamp section of one of their oh, amps. Okay. So that's the purple channel and the red channel in one of their amps. Do you amps. have red stickers in there? Because they gave you a bunch of purple rev Oh, yeah. Stickers I got here. stickers. Oh, yeah, the same stuff, only purple. Oh, I got a guitar pick, too. The guitar pick, amazing. Yeah, their pedals are amazing. I've always wanted to try them, and everybody's always said good things about them. So I can't wait to give them a try. The craftsmanship in these amps. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And you know, one last thing, you literally get to pick all of the things. Everything. The color of, what do you call these dudes? Uh, the corner thingies. The corner thingies, <laughs> top and bottom, they can be like white, silver, yeah. gold, yeah. black. Whatever you want. The plating down here, you had gold, white, gray, yeah. silver, uh, option black, yep. all of the things. Like that's customizable. Even your knobs. Yep, you got the knobs. white, clear, or black on the knobs. Yeah. Dude, this looks freaking, I'm looking in the I monitor. I know, it looks great. I honestly... We did it. We, we picked all the right stuff. I am so happy with this. In fact, for there were a couple moments we kept going back and forth. He and we almost were like, didn't do it. Yeah. I was like, I don't know. It's just weird. But I was like, why do I like this? This just looks really it good. It worked. And it just works. So I, I love how this looks. I almost went black with the faceplate, but silver seemed to kind of... Silver worked. Yeah. Silver with the black knobs was yeah. like it for me. So... Dude, this thing freaking looks awesome. One of the best looking yeah. amps ever. Yeah, this is going to sound amazing. I can't wait. So next will be the playthrough. Well, it's been a few days since I did the unboxing video and I, I got kind of busy with work. So now it's time for the dial in and playthrough of all three channels on this amplifier. So have it right here. Uh, I got the camera up close. Hopefully you can see all the... Uh, verbiage on the uh on the amp so we'll start with the blue channel right now and i believe everything should be at let me put this at noon this is for the green channel but i'm just setting everything up all right so all right there we go now we have everything about as plain as we can get it on the blue channel so let's do a quick dial in on that and uh we'll start with the effects off and after we get it dialed in we'll uh, spice it up a little bit with some effects sounds great i have the coil tap engaged on my guitar by the way now this has a wide feature so you push that and it gets a little more forward and bigger sounding so let's check that out I love that feature so I'm going to leave that on and let's see what the bright switch does Okay, that sounds really good as well. So depending on your pickups uh, and your taste, you'll have that on or off. So let's mess around with the tone stack. Well, that's about as good of a clean channel as you can get. It's very musical, very chimey, warm, full. You know, all the stuff that at least I look for in a clean channel. It sounds really freaking good. So let's go ahead and turn on the old Julia Chorus and the Flashback 2. And I got a little bit of modulation on the repeats on the Flashback 2. Let's see what it sounds like once we dress it up. Freaking perfect, man. What a great clean channel. 
not an afterthought at all. I think a lot of thought went into this and it's just really lush and beautiful sounding. Very musical. I would stack this up against any other clean channel out there. It's very, very pristine and nice. And the feel is really good on it as well. It's got a little bit of compression in it, which I like. It's got a really nice feel. It doesn't feel brittle or anything like that. So uh, I like it a lot. So there's the settings. So I have the uh, presence up a little bit and the depth up a little bit. And like I said, depending on your pickups or your taste, you'll have the bright switch on or off. And if you want the width on, you just push the channel one button and you see the light engages. So I'll show you that again. Let's do a before and after on the width. I'll turn it off. Here we go. <laughs> Very, very cool. Love the clean channel a lot. So now let's move on to the green channel, which is like their edge of breakup and beyond type channel. It's like a, it's a classic rock. It'll get into that classic rock territory. So right now, uh, making sure I don't have a boost on yet. So we'll dial it in without a boost and then we'll piss off all the little boost Karens out there and use a boost and see what it sounds like with the boost engaged. <laughs> All right, so we got some kind of edge of breakup stuff going on here, and you have two drive modes on here. You have blue and red. Just by pushing the channel two button, you'll cycle through those. So let's see what those sound like. All right, so let's finish dialing it in. I got the gain at noon, so let's uh, crank that up a little bit and then we'll engage a boost. I'm getting a little bit of like uh, Marshall vibes here, you know, like JCM territory. Uh, and it, it sounds good. It's really beefy and it's got a nice feel to it. But uh, obviously I want a little more gain. I'm not a classic rock player, but I think I could dial in a pretty good classic rock tone. So let's go ahead and engage the precision drive right now because this is a really beefy channel. Maybe if we tame that low end a little bit uh, with a boost pedal, we can uh, get it to be a little more aggressive and responsive. That suits this channel perfectly, really, really well. So let's uh, just, you know, fine tune it a little bit and we'll do some riffs. <laughs> I think we're there. That sounds really freaking good. I think three o'clock is a sweet spot uh, where the gain is and then uh, having the uh, drive on red. I think that's really the sweet spot and then obviously you boost it. So let's do some riffs. <laughs> Thank you. 
very cool so let's go ahead and turn on the reverb now and i'll do one more classic rock type riff for you let's engage that i think uh, that's a cool feature for the classic rock dudes so let's do one more with that and then i'll uh move on to the purple channel <laughs> Yeah, reverb sounds really good. So here we go. Sounds great, man. Really good classic rock channel. So if you're looking for uh, an amp that has like a, a legit classic rock channel in it that takes a boost really well, I mean, here you go. I think it would suit anyone's taste. You know, I mean, it's it sounds great. It's got a good feel to it. The boost works really well with it. And uh, I really like how they voice this. Uh, very, very responsive, especially with a boost. Now let's move on to the purple channel. All right, as you can see, the bright cut and fat switches are off. Everything's at noon, gains at top dead center. So let's just dial it in from here and the boost pedal is off. So I'm gonna basically get the best tone I can without a boost and then I'll go ahead and boost it. And uh, you know, just see how aggressive and nasty we can get this channel. <laughs> All right, you guys are probably pretty familiar with the rev stuff, but uh, basically you have a couple of different aggression modes. So you can uh, hit the channel two or channel three button and it goes through the different aggression modes. You have blue and red. So let's go through those and see how aggressive we can get this. <laughs> All right, that sounds a lot better, so we'll mess with the gain knob now and get some more gain out of it. All right, this is really fat. <laughs> this is a really fat channel, a lot of juice here. So uh, let's uh, start messing with these switches, see what they do. I'll just go right down the line. I'll start with the bright, do the cut, and then the fat switch. <laughs> Wow, that's freaking nice. The bright and mids, mid cut uh, definitely added some aggression. And then uh, if you need, you know, some more, some more thickness, I mean, the fat switch definitely adds that. So let's dial in the tone stack now and just really perfect this tone. And then uh, I'll turn things on and off as I need it regarding these switches here. <laughs> All 
Okay, so without a boost pedal engage, I think the fat switch, um, in my opinion, can can go off. You know, I don't really need that because it, it actually thickens it up so much that when you don't have a boost and be engaged, it, it gets a little sluggish, but that's okay. Just turn it off, you know, and then you're okay. And it opens up the top end a little bit more and gives it that really nice bite. So if you're going to play it without a boost, like I said, depending on pickups, taste, and all that other crap, and maybe even how you dial in the tone stack, you might want to have the uh, fat switch off. And what's nice about the fat switch is if you engage a boost pedal that thins it out too much, hit that switch and it thickens it right back up again, but it doesn't make it, you know, tubby or loose or anything like that. Let me do a couple riffs or one riff or whatever with, uh, without the boost, then I'll engage it, and then we'll dial it in further from there. That freaking sounds awesome, <laughs> it really does. Yeah, I like this a lot. Uh, it's a great, thick, beefy, and aggressive tone. So uh, for a lot of people, this would probably work just fine. So I'm a boost freak, so I love uh, boosting amps and uh, shaping the tone and just getting that little more uh, attack and uh, response. So let's try, you know what? I'm gonna try the odd box and see how that interacts with this amp. Wow, that sounds awesome, and the feel is really good as well. And the odd box adds some thickness to the amp as well as. Uh, it's weird how it works with amps. It pushes really hard, but adds a little bit of fullness to it. So let's uh, adjust the tone uh, stack on here and maybe some gain settings and whatnot and see if we can make that work with this pedal a little bit better. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow, that is the perfect amount of sludge, aggression, and, and thickness. Uh, man, and sludge, and I mean that as a compliment, that sludgy, nasty kind of, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. That's freaking insane, dude. So what I did is I backed the gain down a hair and I went to the blue aggression setting and I think that was very fitting. And I think I adjusted a few things here, but uh, I tried to put the uh, fat switch back on, but with the odd box, I just don't think I need the fat switch. But let's switch to um, a different pedal. Let's go to the precision drive and show you how this amp will adjust to pretty much any pedal. Like, uh, cause I think the precision drive is gonna cut a little more low end out and not be as full, so we'll make up for that with the fat switch. We'll start with the uh, odd box and switch over to the precision drive. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
That actually sounds really good too, but let's just see what the fat switch does, just for shits and gigs. That, that works great. Uh, I could go either way with the fat switch, but I'm kind of preferring with it. Uh, so that sounds awesome. I love how beefy and thick the chugs are, but they, the immediate stop is kind of nice too. So this thing's really articulate and tight, and uh, there's no leftover like goop on the end of uh, you know the chugs and stuff. So it's really freaking nice. So now let's test it out and see if it's got the goods for leads. <laughs> Well, if you ask me, it's a really good blend of aggressive, thick, and articulate. <laughs> I mean, you can hear like that pedaling of the pick on the strings really clearly, and it just sounds awesome. And the feel is really good as well. One of the things I love about my revs, because I have the, I have the uh, Generator 120 Mark III, I just feel invincible when I play it. There's just such a great response and feel with these amps, and I really love that really thick tone that they have. And this has that same kind of thickness, but with a little more aggression because they revoiced this amplifier. So I prefer the clean channel on this amp over the, uh, the Mark III. I just think the clean channel on this one is a little more pristine and chimey and, and uh, it's just cleaner, you know, basically. And uh, I think that uh, the purple channel on this, it, it, they, they kind of took that polish off of it that the uh, Mark III has, but I, I like the polish. I think it's great. So now I have the best of both worlds on these amps. I mean, I have different flavors, so depending on what I'm craving that day, I can have either one. And I really think that they did a great job on the purple channel on this. I mean, it's, it's a legendary channel, and they definitely kept it in that legendary status. So it has the thickness, it has the fullness, it has the gain structure and a lot of a lot of gain really, but it also has that great articulation. You know, I really like that. And if you notice, I have the gain at like, you know, two o'clock. So it's it's not like I've got the gain cranked and I have it on blue. Uh, as far as aggression goes. So now if I wanted to have a little bit more gain because I'm going to use this for both rhythms and leads, I think I could get away with that and still have that great articulation. So I might just keep the gain here and then just bump the, art the uh, aggression up a little bit. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> That actually sounds really good. Let's go through all three of the uh, aggression settings now. I'll turn it off and then work my way back up to the red. <laughs> Man, 
man, that sounds great. In fact, I think having it off would be like the perfect recording, you know, version of, of that channel. <laughs> very articulate and aggressive so i think if i was recording and like double tracking i would have it off but for live playing i mean let's face it guys i don't know maybe i'm not speaking for everybody but speaking for myself i could use a little forgiveness so i would probably i could get away with either blue or red um so i would just turn the gain up just a hair if i have it on blue so i'll just turn it up to about I don't know, just past 2 o'clock. And I think that would probably suit me just fine for uh, rhythms and leads because I still think it retains that clarity. So here's the settings here. So let me just do some riffs and show you how clear it still remains, with, even with these settings. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty freaking clear and articulate, you know, with all that crazy fast picking. So, yeah, I think this would be great uh, for rhythms and leads. So let's go ahead and do a full mix now and see how this sounds in a full mix. <laughs> Well, there you have it. Sounds great in a mix. I mean, rhythms and leads, this amp freaking slays. I have to tell you, like, this is easily one of the best 50 watt amps I've ever played in my life. I mean, it's it's freaking awesome. You have three amazing channels. I mean, this, this purple channel is just freaking money. I mean, it just sounds awesome. And I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. I mean, you can get anything you want when you build an app on their website. I mean, the options are almost endless. I mean, just go on the website and check out all the options. I mean, it's just freaking phenomenal. 
So uh, I really love this amp, and it also has uh, the built-in two notes technology. I could, I, you know, the thing is with this amp is I can make this video three hours long, and I'm just not going to do that. But you're all familiar with the two note stuff. You're all familiar with the other revs like the Generator Mark III and Mark II. They all have that two notes tech in it, and uh, they're, it's just an amazing piece of tech. You know, I mean, you can hook up direct to front of house or a mixing console or your studio monitors or whatever you want, your, your, you know, your DAW, your freaking uh, interface and in stereo. And then you can use your own cab emulations if you have third party stuff, or you can go and use the awesome two notes cab emulations as well. Um, so, and you can operate it with the app on Bluetooth or on your computer. So if you want to go direct with this, it has a built in load, uh, so you can, you can actually take it with you without the cab, push the button on the back that activates the internal load, and then you can run it direct to front of house. You can do that with uh, the Mark III as well. So, I mean, there's just so many options with this thing. You have MIDI, you can program it. And it comes with its own foot switch that you can program as well. Um, so like, I mean, there's just, it's just a kitchen sink amp. It really is. And you guys know me, I'm a huge options guy. So I love having amps with amazing options. So let's just demonstrate before I go, let's just demonstrate the noise gate real quick. So I got a lot of gain going on. I got an overdrive pedal. So, um, I'm using my Rev G8 pedal right now. So I'll turn that off and then I'll engage the gate on the, uh, the amp. Simple as that. And you can adjust the settings on the gate on the back. So you can adjust how much of that gate you want. But there you go. There's off. There's on. So it's just really handy. I mean, there's so many freaking features on here. And if you can't get a good tone out of this, I mean, you're, you're, you didn't try hard enough. And you really don't have to try that hard at all. I mean, look where I have the knobs. I mean, they're all in pretty normal places. You know, it's not like I did a whole bunch of tone shaping here. And with these switches here... With the uh, the bright, the cut, and the fat, I mean, for the uh, purple channel, I mean, they really give you a lot of awesome tone shaping features. And with the aggression, you also get that. So uh, you, between that aggression and the three knobs and the whole tone stack and all the other amazing stuff with this amp, I mean, there's just no way you can't get a good tone out of it. It sounds incredible. And like I said, I always feel invincible when I play their amps. I feel like I can do no wrong. Even though I'm having a little bit of a struggle today, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's freaking, uh, it's, it's 12.30 in the morning right now, and I've had a long day, so maybe that's why. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and uh, I really hope you enjoyed the sounds that I got out of this amplifier. And uh, if you own any of their products, let me know what you think of them. I'm sure you love them. And uh, just as well, I probably should have done this in the beginning, but I didn't. Uh, so full disclaimer, Rev sent me this amplifier. I get to keep it. And I'm so grateful for that. I'm really, really grateful when one of your favorite companies uh, send you something like this. I mean, it's just incredible, you know. So I don't know if I said this in the beginning of the video or not, but I'm just saying it now just in case. I shot that video, uh, what was that, two days ago. So... Try to remember all the stuff I said at the beginning of that. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Thanks, Rev, for uh, sending me this amplifier. And I can't wait to find a spot on my shelves for this. And it's just going to look amazing up there. And uh, again, thanks so much for watching, guys. And to all my Patreon supporters and subscribers, thank you guys so much. And thank you to everyone who's been purchasing my Kemper Quad Cortex and Tonex presets on my website. I really appreciate you guys. That is linked below as well. And I'll put a link to Rev's website in here so you can go on there and build your own amp and have fun with uh, all the different options. I mean, it was a lot of fun putting this one together. So I hope you guys enjoy that as well. Well, I got a lot more stuff coming up for you guys, and I will see you on the next one.